Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your drawing her ratings and team ratings to the Formula One 2024 Belgian Grand Prix. All drawing hers and teams covered as I rate them out of 10 for their performances over the weekend. Let's start off with Mercedes. My drawing her, Lewis Hamilton, 9. Yes, I gave my drawing her, Lewis Hamilton, a 9. P3 in qualifying, and then in the race, he finished second on track, but was promoted to first after George Russell getting disqualified, which means my joiner is now 105 races in his F1 career. Absolutely unbelievable. Of course, I didn't want him to get his 105th win this way, but it is what it is. George Russell, 9. Yes, I give George Russell a 9. P6, I think, in qualifying. Then in the race, he finished P1 out on track, but unfortunately got disqualified because his car was underweight, which was real unfortunate. It really was, but what a mega stint that was, sorry, George Russell. Anyway... Red Bull, Max Verstappen, Sapon. Yes, I gave Max Verstappen a Sapon. Obviously, qualifying dominated, qualifying destroyed the field, and then in the race, his car just did not have the pace. He finished at P5, but then obviously got promoted to P4 in the end because of George Russell getting disqualified. Extends his championship lead over. Lando Norris, so that was crucial for him. Sergio Perez, high. Yes, I give Sergio Perez a high. Obviously, he started in P2 because uh, Max has happened having that 10 grid place penalty. So, yeah, Max started P11 and Checo started P2, but then Checo ended up finishing P8, and then promoted to P7. Oh my goodness, me, nowhere near good enough in the Red Bull. And I think this is the end of the road now, unfortunately, for Sergio Perez. I really do. I do not think he's done enough to keep his seat, unfortunately. Ferrari, Charles Leclerc, 9. Yes, I give Charles Leclerc a 9. Obviously, because of Max Stappen's penalty, he got promoted to P1 in qualifying. Then in a race, he finished P4 out on track, but but got promoted to P3 in the end. But Ferrari's pace is shocking. I mean, I want to see a reaction after the summer break. I really do. Carl Sainz, 5. I mean, nowhere this weekend. Looks off it in qualifying and... Looks off it in the race. Just, yeah, bad weekends for Carlos Sainz. And the breaking news has just come out today that he is moving to Williams. Of course, my subscriber, MUFC Racer, will be reacting to that news tomorrow. So make sure you are subscribing to MUFC Racer. Top lad, he really is. McLaren, Lando Norris... Six. Yes, I give Lando Norris a six. I mean, I thought he was very poor this weekend. Very bad average. But qualifying, he qualified, I think it was P6 or P5, and then had a shocking start again in the race. Went in the grand hall, lost three places, got undercut by Max Verstappen, then locked up trying to pass Max Verstappen. Now, I need to start to question Lando Norris. I think, I've been thinking to myself that he surely has the minerals to be a world champion, but I'm starting to question it now. I really am. Let's wait and see why he does after the summer break. But he needs to cut out on these errors. He really does. Oscar Piastri, eight. Yes, I think Oscar Piastri, eight. I mean, qualifying was not the best, but in the race... He finishes P3, but got promoted to P2, because obviously George Russell getting disqualified. Another strong race by Oscar Piastri. 
of course, like, McLaren had a bit of a bad pit stop, so that didn't help things. It came very close to catching both Mercedes up in the end. If there's a couple of laps left, no doubt about it, he would have had both Mercedes. That McLaren car is a beast at the moment, but again, they're not taking advantage of it, are they? So that's what's holding McLaren back, unfortunately. Alpine, Pierre Gasly, I'll give him a five, you know, I mean, just, he was not happy in the race, complaining about engine issues. You got to feel sorry for Gasly recently, he's been having a lot of bad luck. Espan Ocon, eight, yes, I gave Espan Ocon an eight. To get the car into points was impressive, and qualifying he did really well as well, so fair play to Espan Ocon. Now, I'm not a fan of Esteban Ocon at all, you know. He's probably one of my most disliked drivers, but fair play. Credit where it's due, yeah. Absolutely fantastic this weekend. Aston Martin, Fernando Alonso, Sahan. Yes, I give Fernando Alonso a Sahan. P8 in qualifying, and then in the race, finished in a similar position. Decent points to Aston Martin. Yeah, solid weekends by Fernando Alonso. Lance Stroll, five. I mean, not the best of weekends, uh, Lance Stroll. Got eliminated in Q2, then finished outside the points in the race. So, yeah, a bit of a disappointing weekend for Lance Stroll. On to Racing Balls. One foot one, Yuki Tsunoda, three. I mean, just... We all knew he was going to be starting at the back of the grid because of his engine penalties. Then in the race, really struggled, yeah. And he needs a summer break because he's looked a bit out of source recently, one foot one after a strong start. So I think the summer break will do him good. Daniel Ricciardo. Now, the big breaking news today is that Liam Lawson is replacing him at Racing Balls. So... That means either Ricardo is being promoted to the A team or his time in F1 is up once again. But yeah, Daniel Ricardo, I'll give him a five. I mean, not the best of the weekends for him, really, just by an average, really. So yeah, I'll give him a five. On to Kicks Albert, Steady Eddie, Guan Yu Zhou. I mean, if he finished this race, it would have been a zero. But as he retired, I'll give him a standard five. Hydraulics issue, retired very early on in the race, and qualifying was an absolute disaster. We all know that this driver is out of his depth. But again, as my subscriber, Michael Dodge LCFC, said, he brings in so much money to sport, so I can't see him getting replaced any time soon, to be honest. Fauci Bottas, I'll give him a 6. I mean, again, not the best of weekends. Did decent in qualifying, but finished outside the points in the race. I think he finished P13 in the race. Yeah, just a kick salver is a terrible car. Haas, Nico Hulkenberg. Now, I gave Nico Hulkenberg a lot of credit recently, but this weekend he was absolutely abysmal. Zero. Absolutely zero. Wow. What a horrific weekend. Struggled in Q1, then finished last in the race. Absolutely nowhere this weekend, Nico Holkenberg. Kevin Magnussen, standard high. Nothing really special by him, really, but did better than Nico Holkenberg, so fair play. And finally, on to Williams. Alex Albon, Sahan. Yes, I give Alex Albon a Sahan. He was very close to making Q3, but unfortunately finished outside of the points in the race. But we know the Williams is not a very good car this year. And hopefully they'll be able to improve after the summer break. Well, Helen will, anyway, who's a massive Albon fan and a Williams fan. She'll be hoping that. Williams carry on upgrading the car. Logan Sargent won. I mean, oh my goodness, see. This driver is seriously out of his depth, isn't he? Not much more to say about Logan Sargent. 
Team ratings, Mercedes, 9. If George Russell didn't get disqualified, it would have been a 10. You know, their first one on 2 since Sao Paulo 2022, but unfortunately, because George Russell got disqualified, that will no longer apply. Red Bull, 7. A bit of a buying average weekend to them, really, to be honest. And my team Ferrari, I mean, Sahan for us as well. Mixed the ball competitions in qualifying, we did okay, but yeah, really struggled in the race, so Sahan. And this podium for Leclerc is nothing to get giddy about whatsoever. Our car is trash, honestly. And McLaren, eight, you know, Oscar Piastri scored some. Fantastic points. Lando Norris way off it. And Alpine Ogham a second as well. Gasly a bit off it, but Ocon, you know, scored some good points. So Gasly did have some more reliability gremlins. Aston Martin Sahan. Good points on Fernando Alonso. Lance Stroll a bit off it. Racing balls high, by an average, really, by them. Sauber, three, shocking, abysmal. Haas, I mean, yeah, three for them, really. Not a great weekend for them. And Williams, I'll give them a, yeah, standard high, really, by an average, by them as well. So, we now have a four-week break, but... I probably will still do a couple of half one videos, but not too many, as this is a football channel as well, and I have plenty of football content to come out, especially Manchester United content. So, if you are a football fan, make sure you are subscribing to this channel, because this is mainly a football channel. And I do F1 content as well, but obviously F1 takes a bit of a back seat when the football season's on. But during, like, race weekends and that, obviously I still do qualifying reaction, race reaction. I've only done a shorts reaction, though, on both events this weekend, because unfortunately I didn't see the whole Grand Prix. But what i seen of it, it was enjoyable. It really was. So let me know down below what you think of my ratings. As I said, my good friend, WFC Racer, is reacting to Carlos Science News tomorrow. Bye-bye.